Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. So for everyone that wants to migrate to the United States of America, the study route is the easiest and fastest way to make it into America right now. And I shared a video about an opportunity to study for free in America and people have already applied for you know that school and i'm so happy about that and i got a lot of inquiry about how to migrate to the u.s just today you know i had a one-on-one -on -one consultation with someone who said she wants to migrate to the U to the u.s right and was asking for ways she can do that so i just thought i should do more research on how you can move to the u.s for free and this is through study so the first video i did was for bsc you can see the video on the top right corner of your screen and in the description box below as well so you can apply to that college so this video is about another school and for this one it's 100 percent free for bachelor's degree master's degree and phd so this one is real good because it cuts across you know different ages of people right so if you want to do your bachelor's you can do that free of charge in america if you want to do your master's you can do it free of charge in america and for phd as well completely free and there is no application for Fees. and at the time of application you don't need your IELTS you don't need TOEFL or any of that so it's really really amazing so do watch this video I'm going to walk you through all the details of this school and how you can apply for admission and I do advise that you do it immediately like apply for this admission like right now so you can get a positive response as soon as possible my name is Jackie we are just meeting for the first time and you're welcome to my channel do subscribe hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you would know every time i share videos that will help you in your migration journey all i do on this channel is just to show you opportunities that are available for you abroad so if you're looking for how to migrate abroad you're looking for how to move abroad whether it's to work to study you know my channel is where you're going to get the best information that is going to help you so do subscribe to my channel all right and if you're interested in content that has to do with you know how to make money online finance content how to start and run a youtube channel make money on youtube and other side hustles that can be done online if you want to start an online business with zero capital then you really need to check my second channel jackie finance that is where i share all the information about side hustles how to make money online how to make money on youtube so do subscribe to jackie finance and see the content content I share on there, all right? Okay, so let me show you this school that I'm talking about in the United States of America. All right, so this is a school right here, Michigan Tech. So this is the URL, this is the link, right? And you can just Google this if you can't type this into your browser. So there is no need to ask me for the link. This is it right here, okay? All right, so this school has um, admissions for undergraduates and graduates. So you can do your B your bachelor's degree, your master's degree, and your PhD in this school, and it's really amazing. So I just want to show you, you know, details of how you can apply the requirements, documents, and all you know, all the information that is necessary and I'll be doing it real quick. So this is, um, let's go to undergraduate admissions first. Let's start from there. Okay. So this is it, undergraduate admissions. And, um, what is the admission requirements? Let's just look at that right now. So it's a free online application. Applying to this school is free, it is easy, and it is online. And there is no deadline to apply. You can apply to this school like all year round. It's never closed, it's never open. Anytime you come here, you can apply, right? And you'll be applying for the next available, you know, session. So if a session starts in September, for example, and you, you want to go at, you know, apply in September or October, you know you're not going to meet up, right? So you have to also do it in good time so you can meet up for the next session, okay? So let's see details about the admission. Additional application materials, okay. You're going to click here, apply now, you know, to see what, what is needed. Okay, let's read here. Submit your application for admission and official high school or college transcripts for fall 2023 applicants official sat or act scores are not required plus there is no need for letters of recommendation or essays for most majors so you don't need sat results you don't need any letters of recommendation for your application right 
Admission requirements vary by major. The admissions committee will review your transcript to see the courses you took and grades you received. If you would like to talk about your specific academic credentials related to admission, contact the admission staff, all right? And then they have um, additional application materials, and that is you know specific for some courses like audio production and technology, sound design, theater, you know, and things like that. Okay, so GPA will review your high school transcript and evaluate the courses you took and the grades you received. So, you know, basically they're just going to see, you know, how well you did. We do not recalculate your GPA. However, we will convert your GPA to 4.0 scale if your school uses a different grading system. Okay, so test scores. First year applicants applying for admission during 2023 semesters are not required to submit test scores. All right, so that is that. Recommended high school courses, mathematics, natural science, English, social studies, computer literacy, foreign language. Okay, so that's it. So for international students, right, this school welcomes international students from, from more than 50 countries, more than 50 countries. Learn more about admission requirements as an international student. So you really need to click on that to see you know, the requirements for you. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what we have for international students. So international applicants, no application fee and rolling admissions. That is to say that you can apply at any time, right? Although there are no application deadlines, we encourage you to apply by April 1 for fall semester. That is August start. So you want to start, you know, in August, you need to apply before April 1. And if you want to start and September 1 for spring semester start, that is in January. So if you want to start in January, you have to apply before September 1. So now this deadline they're giving here, right, that you should apply before April 1 for, to begin in August. April is just how many months away? That's four, four months away, right? And if you want to like wait till this deadline, you may not meet up with your visa application, right? Because then you're not even going to get a response. First of all, you won't get a response like, immediately the first day you you um submit your application so it's still gonna have some days before you get a response from them and then you need to apply for your visa so i would highly advise if you plan to start in august you should apply this january you know how it is in some countries to get your usa visa right so try and do it as early as possible so first year students application requirements complete our free online application email official secondary school transcripts there's an email address to send it to and if you want to send it by mail you know you, this is the address and then you submit an english proficiency test score may be waived depending on country of origin and or prior study in the u.s read the english profici proficiency page for a list of exempt countries and test core requirements. So there are some countries that are exempt from submitting this English proficiency test score. So you need to click on this to see if your country, right, is exempt from that. Okay. So there are country specific additional requirements. There's one for India, there is Nigeria, Ghana, other African countries. Um, and then there is countries in, you know, the Caribbeans and all. So you just need to read, you know, check out what, you know, which country you're applying for and what your requirements are. So for Nigeria, Ghana, Sierra Leone, Liberia, and the Gambia, you will need your NECO or WIAC examination results and scratch card information, right? And if you're an India applicant, you require examination board results and all of that. So you just need to check for the requirements for your country. All right. Okay. So application is free, free of charge to apply. So how about tuition? You know, is there scholarship for the school? Yes, there is scholarship. So let's quickly look at the scholarships, right? Let's see what the scholarships are about. All right. So they are, it's in different segments. So there's scholarship for residents of Michigan. And there are scholarships for non-Michigan residents, but in the U.S., yeah. And then there are scholarships for international students. So there are 
tons of scholarships here that are available. So there's the International Ambassador Scholarship automatic consideration. So once you apply for admission, you're automatically considered for this scholarship. And what is the scholarship offering? You're awarded $11,000 up to 11,000 up to 14,300 per year for up to four years. So for every year, you'll be getting between 11,000 to 14,000 300 as your scholarship for this and then there's another one here which is a legacy alumni legacy award and then there is this is for children you know children of um alumni graduates of the school and then there is the summer youth scholars award it's awarded to new incoming first year undergraduate students who participated in a summer youth academic program at michigan tech so there are so many awards here. So you need to check for them. Those that are not automatic consideration, you need to apply for them. So all students, all acceptance students are automatically considered for awards they are eligible for. Some scholarships require proof of parent employment. Award amounts vary. All right. Okay. So this is all for undergraduates, right? So let's look at some things for graduates. Let's see what graduates, you know, are getting from this school. I just have an idea of other scholarships and um, other admission requirements for graduate programs. That is master's and um, PhD. Okay, first of all, let us go straight to financial information and let us go straight to fellowships. Okay, graduate assistantships. Let's start from there. So the way America usually does free study for graduate programs is through assistantships. So it's not like they are just giving you, you know, a grant to just study and that's it. No, you're going to be, you know, employed, right? So you're kind of like working in a department while they pay for your fees. So that's basically how it works. So you need to read up on all of this so you can understand how this works. Right, and they say here, you know, just read up by yourself to get all the vital information about this. And then there are fellowships as well. So yeah, you can totally school for free. And um they offer these graduate assistantships to masters and PhD students. All right. All right, so I hope you found this video valuable. Do share this opportunity with others and do take advantage of it like immediately whenever you see an opportunity just jump on it like real quick you know before things change because things change a lot you know so thank you so much for watching do like this video hit the like button and also subscribe for more videos like this my name is jackie and i will see you in my next video